is the story of a, a woman in her 60s you know who was born in the year of 2100 and more you know so this is a young woman at that age which is at 64 when i say young woman she was young in her mind you know even at 63 her mind was renewed there were systems within the earth within the human knowledge by which the mind could be renewed and conditioned to be young it is said that with the right kind of attitude you can be young your body might go old but during the year of 2100 there were systems within the earth there were systems of knowledge through the advanced forms of learning through advanced forms of biotechnology through advanced forms of gene therapy they were able to program the cells to be young even at the age of 63 so at 63 the woman was also physically fit in the sense that she could run she could move about she didn't have many of the complications which we have as of now which includes cancer most most of the mortal diseases which are within our genes because her genes were programmed for diseases not to affect her at the age of 60 and she also looked just like a 30 year old woman as we see today you know even if she was 60 her her features, her mind, her body, her attitude in life was more like a 30 year old woman. So that was the kind of advancement which humans were able to make into the years of 2100. And this woman at the age of 63 was able to move into her flying car, you know because a flying car at that time is no longer a luxury you know today a flying car is just a helicopter you know <laughs> helicopter is a kind of flying car you know but it's being used everywhere as of now you know especially among corporate travelers and so but during the time the flying car is available in every household and she took a journey around the world and the visas and so were all electronically programmed so that she could move about to different countries and at very high speeds and also the information she had at the age of 63 is not like a 63 year old woman today or 65 year old woman today she had very advanced forms of knowledge with the deepest of learning systems with the most advanced chips which was kind of within her body also as we have mentioned before some of the most advanced phones are your pathway to the greatest of knowledge in terms of deep learning which is available to us as ChatGPT and also other AI programs which provides us knowledge and also gives us all kinds of directions in life which includes information, entertainment maps to go anywhere it helps you discern information and it's all from the chip that chip was embedded within her and that chip had the ability to move into the supercomputers of the world and give her the knowledge and the knowledge today was not the same as knowledge then she knew that she was with the energies of the universe and she also had an ability to be with the creative force of the universe her thinking was to work with the energies of the universe for the future generations she was devising systems by which the air around her the oxygen around her would be better oxygen for the next generation the water would be a better quality of water the seasons the rains 
the food and the plate would be much better for the future generations. She traveled the world and as she was traveling in a flying car at speeds just like an aircraft, she also had the ability to slow it down at certain places and watch the nature around her. And during the time, Africa also was highly developed in terms of all kinds of systems of modernity which included the deepest of learning, electronics, supercomputers and the whole world as such was kind of developed with the help of artificial intelligence but the core of it was energies of turmoil, energies of destruction, energy of darkness was not encouraged. There were systems within the world to help people with the right, wrong kind of knowledge to move into a therapy session and get their neurons with the creative energies of the universe thereby helping their own lives from turmoil and getting their lives into uh, energies with prosperity and the prosperity for the 63 year old woman was one with the population of the earth, the vast population of the earth the disparities which we see today was no longer prevalent in that sense they were very rich people also but the standard of living among all people of the world was very good in sense like AI information into the future had helped even the poorest of people move into a strata of society and knowledge and life and living by which their own lives were also blessed by the advancement of knowledge into the future. Let's replenish our earth.